Michael Troy died of cancer in 2015 at the age of 64. When Michael Manuels, after years of working as a fisherman, laborer, and carpenter, finally decided to pursue his love of music, he gave himself the stage name Michael Troy, in honor of his Fall River hometown which was originally called Troy. So the folk singer, who died of cancer in 2015 at the age of 64, would no doubt be thrilled to hear that the concert being held in his honor this Sunday will also be a fundraiser for the community he loved. The concert, which is being held at the Narrows Center for the Arts from 14 p.m., will feature 14 musicians performing two songs each from Troy's catalog and sharing their memories of him. All of the proceeds will go to the Michael Troy Memorial Music Foundation, which will donate them to the music department of Troy's alma mater, BMC Duffy High School. Chuck Williams, a fellow folk singer Troy enlisted to be his booking agent and manager, is the foundation's president. He remembers Troy telling him about seeing the Duffy High Marching Band at an event, and his disappointment at how small and underfunded the band appeared. He and I actually talked about having a benefit that would give contributions to the Duffy High School, says Williams. It was something that he always wanted to do. Get the Weekender in your inbox the Globe's top picks for what to see and do each weekend, in Boston and beyond. Thank you for signing up. Sign up for more newsletters here. This is the second year the Narrow Center is hosting the Michael Troy Memorial Benefit. Last year the foundation raised about $5,000, and members are optimistic that they can raise even more this year. We're gonna sell out this year again, and next year, because the music is so good, says Kurt Handler, pet good friend of Troy's and a foundation board member. The style Troy honed over four albums paired simple acoustic arrangements with poetic yet unpretentious accounts of working-class life in Fall River. Williams co-wrote some songs with Troy, and he was struck by the attention to detail that Troy brought to his craft. He chose every single word for a reason, says Williams. A word could change the meaning one way or another, and he wanted to make sure he had the best choices. According to Williams, Troy's upstanding personality was every bit as noteworthy as his musical talent. Perhaps that's why Fall River remembers him so fondly, the guy is just so likable. I say is so likable far as I'm concerned, H.E.S. still here. I'm still working for him, says Williams. H.E.'s just a genuinely likable guy, a family guy, a hard-working, blue-collar guy that changed his life by moving into music, which is what his real love was, and made an impact. And as a foundation, we just want to keep this alive. The music of Michael Troy at Narrows Center for the Arts, 16 Anawan Street, Fall River, November 5 at 1 p.m. Tickets $25, 5083241926, www.ticketfly.com Terence Corley can be reached at terence.corley at globe.com. Follow him on Twitter at terence underscore Corley.